Hello everyone. So today in this episode of the prone system that we have been working on, we are going to solve multiple issues. The first thing is this issue. When I am at a ledge, if I try to move, the character rotates like this. And even if it rotates like this, it can't go beyond that point. So fixing this uh, rotating is actually pretty simple. If you go here and I have this control rig where I do a trace for to detect the flow here instead of minus 400 if I make it 100 this should be fixed but that's that's not the main thing we are going to solve today right like even if I have fixed it here like this now the character does not rotate in an awkward manner but still it stays like this so this is not realistic even if we have disabled uh, can walk off from ledge the character can move to a position like this and stays there so this is the main issue that we are going to address today by the way if we are not familiar with this system i have already done four episodes of this prone system including uh, prevent in uh, this surface angle correction prevent wall clipping and replication as well so i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description below and also you can download the project files from my patreon page uh, not just this project there are closer to 2000 projects to the date you can download anything for the membership so yeah Now let's see how to prevent the issue that I just showed you. So for that, what I want to do is, let me open the character blueprint. Now here, so when the character is in the proning mode, like this, when i try to move forward what i should be doing is do some line trace downwards in the direction that the character is trying to move and see if there is ground below if not we should not move the character further forward but if i try to move backward then similarly we should do a line trace downwards in the direction of the intended moment and then we can use it to determine if, whether the character should allow to be moved in that direction or not so the first challenge is how do we determine the intended direction of movement so for that we need to consider the direction the character is looking at and if the character is pressing w or s if we are pressing w the character is trying to move in the direction that we are looking at if we are pressing s the character is trying to move backward so the opposite direction of the character looking at so to do that calculation okay so under the camera boom let's add a cube i'm adding cube because it is visible and I'll move it forward so it should be in the opposite side of the camera so maybe 500 like this and I'll make it smaller so that we can into some block the view now you can see the cube is in front of the character see and if I go to the prone mode it's also in front of the character okay now we can use this to some extent determine the direction the character is trying to move on move so here in this can prone no 
when the character we insert we give moment input we have this can move function that we have created so if this is true then only we allow moving so I think I am using the same function for move sides as well but we may have to change this a little bit for side movements but let's first implement this for the forward movement so here instead of what this part does is get the check in the forward direction of the character to prevent wall clipping that's this part okay so let me promote this to a local variable i'll name this Locking. Blocking. So if it is blocking, then we should not be able to move forward. So here, the branch, if this is blocking, we should not be able to move forward like this. And if it if it is not blocking then we should check if ground is available in the direction that we are trying to move so to do that i'll get this cube get world location and so here we need to consider from the location of the character therefore i'll split this and i'll make vector i'll use only x and y components from this and i'll also get actor location and use the is it component from that now using this so what I'm trying to do is a line trace so the line trace is starting position here line trace by channel starting position I'll consider maybe 50 units upwards and the end may be minus 75 to allow going down on steep angles and here return this value if we hit something that means true that means we can move forward okay now let's see let's see if we can draw we can and after this point we can't now we can what if i look like this still we can uh, there was a bit of an issue so this happens because uh, No, no. Yeah, it's good enough. So, character is not moving further forward. But here, it does. Okay, so I think that's a good enough solution. Let's check here. Yeah, it's not moving. okay see that's the maximum character moves if i press right mouse button it is going in that direction so that is something we should fix but how 
uh, before addressing right issue right moving issue what if I go to the edge like this and move forward we can't move anymore but if I press back still character is not moving backward because we didn't consider the direction character is trying to move so for that here let's do something like this if um, we are pressing s so at the moment the local offset of x direction is 500 so here let's set relative location of the cube like this and i only want to modify the x component so here let me again split and x i'll select x wait select yeah select plot that's the correct node and this selection should be based on whether we are trying to move forward or backward so i a move oh i already get the direction but no we can't use it i a move Don't we have a function? Oh yeah, this is function. Split. If this is less than zero, I'll choose minus five hundred. Or uh, well, no, not really because i need to be it to be in some place like this so it's 250 not minus 500 so 250 otherwise 500 now it should work let's see i'm pressing w character is not Moving, moving further forward if i press s character is coming back okay similarly to address the issue that when we try to move right using a or d uh, to prevent blocking so here let's multiply this with 50 and connect to y then let's see if I go to prawn mode now we can see characters moving can't don't move forward if I press uh, left it's still not moving forward right also not moving forward but if I'm turn like a bit like this and press right now character actually can come so yeah see now you can see the location of the cube changes where the point of the trace but it's still it's not going over the ledge in an unrealistic way see it doesn't turn in right anymore but it can move back or turn this way okay all right so i think that solves that issue also and it is a good place to stop this episode so finally to make sure everything is okay i'll set this uh, the visibility of this cube to invisible well maybe hidden in game i'll make it point 0.1 so it is it doesn't look problematic Visibility should be enabled. It's okay to see. We need to see that in here. And I'll name it int 
attempted move point or oh, let's just simply call move point and make sure no collision is enabled for this it can interfere with the stuff other stuff in the game and yeah thanks for watching updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye